All right, well, this is the wrap up video for the work and cook and kitchen. It is done, 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 done. When we left the other day, the oven was installed. It works, it looks great. I'm gonna go over everything. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is what we changed and what we didn't change. Most of the layout in the kitchen is the same. So starting here, we did, this is the existing dishwasher. We didn't move it. The sink, the only thing we changed here, it was a double sink. We turned it into a nice big single stainless steel sink. The actual faucet was existing as well. We just reused it. It's kind of rare we do that, but this is a really nice color setup and it looks good. So we didn't touch the shutters. We did actually change out the tile, different tile, but same layout, nothing really changed there. The biggest difference and the biggest change is the working area. So we put in, which I don't think you can find this on YouTube, but it's a 66 inch wolf vent hood to cover the 36 inch Viking range, which is actually really awesome. I don't know if you want to get the, the simmer on here, but it is the simmer on control on this is amazing. It's actually way better than my Gen Air. And uh, if you like to cook, this Viking range is really, really nice. I'll put the model number in uh, on, in the video. And then what we also did was we did the deep fryer, which you can't really find also on YouTube. So this is a 15 inch deep fryer and how you install it is you basically have it right next to the, the stove. So it is under the 66 inch vent hood. Now you cannot do a 48 inch range with the steamer and the fryer because they don't make a hood bigger than 66 inches. This is the biggest wolf hood you could buy. So you have to keep that in mind. We were going back and forth, but then we realized that we couldn't do a 48 inch because the 48 inch ovens, or I mean 48 inch ranges, you have a griddle, which is like another added thing to cook on. But worst case scenario, they just put you know a flat pan here and they could do the griddle work here. Also, we changed, we didn't have a niche here. She wanted the niche for all her oils and spices and whatever. We went over the size a lot, like which, what would look best. And this is what we came up with. I think it looks really good. And uh, we did add this little nook in here. That's also different, but the layout didn't change. What we did change big time was there used to be an oven here with a microwave. We got rid of that. She did a double oven. And then over here, we did the microwave in the island, which now she has more cooking space because her old range actually had an oven underneath it, and that is now gone. Now she has more storage space for more of a pots and pans, which this is actually a really nice layout. I really, it, when I redo my kitchen, I'm gonna incorporate some of my clients' ideas into my new kitchen. I look at my kitchen every day now, I'm like, oh man, I wish I did this, that, or whatever. So if you're, if you want a really nice working cooking kitchen layout, like this is perfection in my opinion. I don't think you could get any better than this because you have all the storage right here. You have all the workspace you need. Um, and that goes into more workspace with the island. The island we expanded out. The island was, I think it ended like probably here. So we added another 12, 13 inches of counter space and we also added more storage. So all these doors under here are open, close, more storage for the kitchen. Now let's talk about this awesome oven. So this oven, I think it's about, it's around 10 grand. Um, it's a Viking, it's like brand new. It's a double French door oven. I, you know, I don't know what makes it cooler. Why, instead of, I guess, opening it like this, does it really matter? I don't know, but my client will give me feedback on this and I will let you guys know in other videos, but what a sexy looking oven, right? This thing is just mwah. So, and you could change all the lights on these things. And um, I kind of like the blue lights. I don't know, wait, does it turn on? I don't know. I don't even know how to use this thing, but it is just amazing looking. Now let's go over here. The fridge was existing. She bought this fridge a few years back. This is not a cheap fridge. 
this fridge she told me it was 18 grand a few years ago so just right there alone you're talking 30 grand worth of appliances it's a pretty crazy number not including the rest of the kitchen so this was this is a big kitchen this was a big boy kitchen um what we did change though there used to be a countertop here and a little nook which was kind of silly so we got rid of that and we put in this pantry cabinet which is perfect in my opinion more space and then lastly what we did was this is their desk area which i really like a lot we expanded out the desk area about 15 to 18 inches so that's basically it for the kitchen. Um, actually, lastly, lastly, we ripped out, we were gonna keep the travertine floor, and if you come over here, uh, if you remember it, it looked like this. It's very yellow. I don't think it would, would work with this, this kitchen. And we talked about it, went back and forth, because it wasn't cheap to do, but I was like, you know what? I was like, we're going, we're doing all of this, we might as well rip out the travertine put in this ceramic porcelain tile and it came out so well. I mean, it's just, it's just so flat. It's so pretty and it's such a, it just all came together so well. Uh, and <clears throat> I will, I'm gonna, huh? the bar, there you go. oh yeah, the bar, I have to edit that real fast. Yeah. But um, what was I gonna say? Oh, also we did, we replaced this door. Now this door was, it was all leaky and now it's perfect and it looks really good and it opens nice. And we actually, it was funny, the night after we installed it, we had like a downpour. It, it rained like two inches in like 20 minutes. And I knew, I knew my client was going to be like watching to see if it leaked and it was actually bone dry. So that means I did my job. Uh, and then lastly, let's go to the bar because we call it the forgotten bar because we always forget about it. But we might as well. That is the forgotten bar. It's a nice little touch. It ties in, if you want to pan this way, into the kitchen. Um, you know, it ties into the kitchen, obviously. It was an add on. You know, it's actually a little bit of work because we still had a tile, you know, another sink, another faucet. Uh, I had to get creative with some of the tile, but it looks really, really good. And I, the clients love it. And she's, she was, she texted, she texted me and she was very emotional that the project was done because with everything going on in the world, there's a lot of supply man issues. And you know, th there was a lot of delays as you'll see, which were very annoying, but we got it done in a, in a reasonable time. And she, she loves it. So I'm here, I, I aim to please. Um, that's all I like to do. I love what I do. And this one, we put our heart and soul into it. So on that note, that's the wrap up video on this work and kick it, work and cook in kitchen. If you have any questions about the kitchen, uh, just message me and I will answer everything you need. Uh, the things that, like I said, you won't see on YouTube anywhere is the way this is laid out with the 66 inch vent hood. It's a very rare setup. So you're not gonna see it very often. But again, thanks for watching. And our next project is a whole house project. So it's, it's a big one. Um, four bathrooms, kitchen, new hardwood flooring. It's, it's gonna be a really nice project. I'm excited to get started on that on Monday. So um, thanks for watching. Take care.